Hi, welcome back everyone. Requirements Engineering. Today we talk about yeah. system visions. So, what's a system vision? A system vision is essentially a big picture of the system under development and its environment. Under development and environment. So you have talked to 25 different stakeholders and stakeholder groups. You've talked to a couple of your future user groups, you've talked to your clients several times, you've talked to the people who will maintain that system over time. You have talked to your coders about what is feasible and what is technically possible. So you have a pretty good understanding of what that system could look like. There's only one problem. That picture is in your head. Now, how are you going to get that on paper and communicate it to those 25 different stakeholder groups? And that's where Monk and Howard published a paper on developing system visions that are easy enough to understand for non-technical stakeholders and at the same time transport all the important information. So the system vision, you can think about it in terms of you take some cute little icons off the internet to make visual representations for all parts of your system and then you compose that into a picture that includes the structure of your system, the process and the concerns. So the structure means the structure of your system under development and the systems in the domain. So system under development and in business environment and operational environment. Now those two things differ and so far as your business environment says, here's the billing unit that will take care of billing the customers. Here is, um, what's it called? Customer relationship, <laughs> customer relationships management. And here is the hotline that you can call. And uh, over here is the manager who oversees if we manage to get the return on investment. That is like your business context for your system. Your operational environment is the systems that interact with your system. So for the carpooling example, that can be your database server, your web server, that can be the fleet management that makes sure that cars get cleaned. You can see that in my head I jumped from one business model to the next one, so now it's not private people signing up, but it's uh, a managed fleet that takes care of that. And so all of both of those contexts are going to be represented in your system vision picture. And then you will also represent the processes, what the user can do using system. So you want to depict that they are able to agree on a carpool, meet up at a certain time, go places, come back, get billed for it, sign up for a different modality, sign up for a different type of payment, whatever they want to do in there. And the third part that you want to show is the concerns of the major stakeholders. And typical concerns for that are, how do I keep the operating expenses down? Is my system going to lead to any disruption in any other environment? I'm just stopping here because in the original article of Monk and Howard, one of the examples that they use in their article, and you're going to read that today as an assignment, that uh, they model a pub, a pub in a little city. and so. One of their stakeholder concerns were the neighbors who said, well, is it going to be too noisy late at night? So 
that example also shows that it doesn't necessarily have to be your software system in the center. It can also be a bigger context picture that you're analyzing. So the scope of what your system vision is about can be adapted to what you need to analyze for a given problem statement. It may be an entire city if you want to develop a smart city system, and it may be something as tiny as a washing machine in its context or something as local. Now, remember those three parts all need to be present in your system vision and the very simple guideline that you are likely to hear as feedback on your first draft is, can I understand what your system is about within the first few seconds of looking at it? So, major objective. Can I see the system's purpose right away? Because what we want to do with that system vision is to communicate it to all stakeholders that are involved with that project. So the usage, communication with all involved stakeholders. And you want to use a lot of pictures in your system vision for two reasons. The first reason is you may have a bunch of non-technical stakeholders in there that should still be able to understand what this is about. And the second part is it just makes it a lot nicer to look at. If I don't have to read through all the font size 8 description of your diagram, but instead I have a few pictorial elements that make it easier for me to understand what it is about. So go ahead and try it. Yep. 